The Ugly Duckling Once upon a time, there was a duck who had a dream. She wanted to have a family of her own. She wanted to have some little ducklings to love and care for. She searched for a nice spot where she could make a nest and lay her eggs. She found a cozy place under some green leaves by the edge of the lake. She thought it was a perfect place for her family. She made a soft nest with some grass and feathers. She laid some eggs and sat on them. She covered them with her warm body and her fluffy feathers. She waited patiently for her eggs to hatch. She waited for a long time, and then she heard some noises. She heard some cracking and popping sounds. She looked down and saw that her eggs were breaking open, one by one. Out came some little yellow ducklings. They were very cute and fluffy. They opened their eyes and looked at their mother. She smiled and kissed them. She was very happy to see them. She counted her ducklings. There were six of them, all yellow and pretty. But there was still one egg left. It was much bigger than the others. And it had a different color. It was gray and speckled. She wondered what was inside it. She waited and waited until finally the egg cracked with a loud noise. Out came a very large and strange-looking duckling. He had gray feathers, a long neck, and big feet. He did not look like his brothers and sisters. He did not look like a duck at all. What a big duckling! exclaimed the mother duck. He does not look like us at all. Could he be a turkey? I hope not. We will find out soon enough. If he is afraid of the water, he is not a duck. Ducks love the water. Ducks are not afraid of the water. The next morning, the mother duck decided to take her ducklings to the pond for their first swim. She thought it would be fun and good for them. She jumped into the water and made a splash. Then she called out to her ducklings to follow her. They all obeyed and jumped in, one after another. They paddled their little feet and swam around. They enjoyed the water and the sun. The big, ugly duckling also jumped in and swam with them. He was not afraid of the water. He loved the water. He felt good in the water. The mother duck was relieved. He is not a turkey. He is my own little duck, even if he is ugly. Maybe he will grow up to be more handsome. Maybe his feathers will change color. Maybe his neck will shrink. Maybe his feet will get smaller. She then said to her ducklings, Come with me, my children. I want you to meet the other ducks. They live in the duck yard. They are our neighbors and friends. But be careful and stay close to me. There is a cat that likes to catch ducks. He is very sneaky and fast. He is very hungry and mean. He will try to hurt you if he sees you. They all followed her to the duck yard. There were many ducks there, of different sizes and colors. There were white ducks and brown ducks. There were big ducks and small ducks. There were old ducks and young ducks. They were making a lot of noise, quacking and flapping their wings. 
They were eating and playing and talking. The mother duck went to eat a big bug that she saw on the ground. She was hungry after swimming. She thought it would be a tasty snack. But while she was eating, an old duck came and bit the ugly duckling on his neck. He was a mean and grumpy duck. He did not like the ugly duckling. He thought he was a weird and ugly creature. He wanted to hurt him and scare him. Let him alone, said the mother duck. He did not hurt you. He did not do anything wrong. He is my son and I love him. He is a duck and he belongs here. I know that, said the old duck, but he is so ugly, I bit him. He is the ugliest duck I have ever seen. He is a disgrace to all ducks. He should not be here. He should go away and never come back. The mother duck and her ducklings decided to go for a walk around the pond. They wanted to see the other animals and have some fun. They met another duck who also had some ducklings with her. She looked at them and said, You have lovely ducklings. They are all pretty and yellow, just like you. They have soft feathers and cute beaks. They look like perfect ducks, except for one. The big duckling is very ugly. He has gray feathers and a long neck. He does not look like a duck at all. He looks like something else. The mother duck felt sad for her ugly duckling. She knew he was different from the others. She knew he was not as beautiful as they were. But she loved him anyway. She said, I know he is not pretty. But he is very good and kind. He is my son and I love him. He is a duck and he belongs with us. Then she said to her ducklings, Now, my dears, have a good time. Play with the other ducklings and enjoy the water. The water is cool and refreshing. The water is where ducks belong. But be careful and do not go too far. Stay close to me and watch out for danger. There are some animals that do not like ducks. They will try to hurt you if they can. But the poor, big, ugly duckling did not have a good time. He wanted to play with the other ducklings, but they did not like him. They did not want to be his friends. They laughed at him and called him names. They said he was a monster and not a duck. They said he was ugly and stupid. They said he should go away and never come back. The hens also did not like him. They pecked him and chased him away. They said he was too big and clumsy. They said he did not belong there. They said he was a nuisance and a troublemaker. They said he was a freak. The ugly duckling had a very hard time in the duck yard. He was not welcome there. He was not liked there. He was not happy there. He was bullied and hurt by the other animals. They were mean and cruel to him. They did not care about him. They did not understand him. They did not want him. The big ducks were even worse than the others. They pushed the little duckling and kicked him. They said he was ugly and stupid. They said he should go away and never come back. They said he was not a real duck. They said he was a mistake. 
They said he was a problem. The poor duckling was very sad. He did not want to be so ugly. He wanted to be like the other ducks. He wanted to have friends and be happy. But he could not help it. He was born this way. He did not choose to be different. He did not know why he was different. He only knew that he was different. He ran to hide under some bushes. He hoped that no one would see him there. He hoped that no one would bother him there. He hoped that no one would hurt him there. He saw some little birds in the bushes. They were singing and flying. They looked so free and happy. He wished he could be like them. He wished he could sing and fly. He wished he could be free and happy. But the little birds saw him and were afraid. They thought he was a big, scary animal. They thought he was a threat and not a friend. They thought he was a predator and not a prey. They flew away as fast as they could. They said he was a danger and not a bird. They said he was a beast. They said he was a monster and not a duckling. It is all because I am so ugly, said the duckling. No one likes me. No one wants me. I have no place in this world. I have no family and no home. I have no friends and no love. I have no life and no hope. So, he ran away. He did not know where to go. He just wanted to find a place where he could be safe and alone. He wanted to find a place where he could be himself and not be judged. He wanted to find a place where he could be happy and not be sad. At night, he came to an old house. The house was very old and broken. It looked like it would fall down any minute. It had holes in the walls and cracks in the roof. It was a very bad house. But the wind blew so hard that the duckling was cold and tired. He needed some shelter. He needed some warmth. He needed some rest. He went into the house to find some shelter. He hoped that no one lived there. He hoped that no one would find him there. He hoped that no one would hurt him there. The ugly duckling found a shelter in the old house. He hoped he would be safe and warm there. He hoped he would find some peace and rest there. He hoped he would be happy and not sad there. But he was wrong. He was not safe and warm. He was not peaceful and rested. He was not happy and not sad. He was in trouble and danger. He was in pain and fear. He was in misery and sorrow. An old woman lived in the old house with her cat and her hen. The old woman was very poor and lonely. She had no money and no friends. She had no family and no love. She had no life and no hope. She only had her cat and her hen. She talked to them and cared for them. She loved them and they loved her. They were her only companions and comfort. The old woman saw the duckling and said, I will keep the duck. Maybe he will give me some eggs. Then I will have something to eat. I am very hungry and I have no food. 
I need some eggs to fill my stomach and give me strength. I hope the duck will be useful and helpful. I hope he will be grateful and loyal. I hope he will be my friend and not my enemy. The next day, the cat saw the duckling and began to growl. He did not like the duckling. He thought he was a strange and ugly creature. He thought he was an intruder and a rival. He thought he was a threat and a nuisance. He wanted to catch him and eat him. He wanted to get rid of him and be the only pet. He wanted to please the old woman and be her favorite. He said, Who are you and what are you doing here? You are not a cat. You are not welcome here. You are a stranger and an outsider. You are a bother and a troublemaker. You are a pest and a vermin. You should not be here. You should go away and never come back. The hen also saw the duckling and began to cluck. She did not like the duckling either. She thought he was a useless and stupid creature. She thought he was a waste and a burden. She thought he was a loser and a failure. She wanted to lay eggs and be proud of them. She wanted to show them to the old woman and be praised by her. She wanted to be useful and helpful. She wanted to be grateful and loyal. She wanted to be the old woman's friend and not her enemy. She said, Can you lay eggs? The duckling said, No. Then keep still, said the hen. You are good for nothing. You are a waste of space. You are a disgrace. You should not be here. You should go away and never come back. You are a disappointment and a shame. You are a problem and a mistake. You are a joke and a mockery. You are not a hen. You are not welcome here. The cat said, Can you growl? The duckling said, No. Then keep still, said the cat. You are weak and cowardly. You are a disgrace. You should not be here. You should go away and never come back. You are not welcome here. And the duckling hid in a corner. He was afraid of the cat and the hen. He did not like the old house. He did not feel at home there. He wanted to leave, but he did not know where to go. He had no place to go. He had no one to help him. He had no one to love him. He was alone and unhappy. He was sad and miserable. He was hopeless and helpless. The ugly duckling decided to go for a walk the next day. He wanted to see more of the world. He wanted to find a place where he could be happy. He wanted to find a place where he could belong. He walked for a long time until he came to a big pond. He saw some wild ducks and swans swimming in the pond. They looked so beautiful and graceful. They had white feathers and long necks. They had smooth movements and gentle sounds. They were the most wonderful birds he had ever seen. He wished he could be like them. He wished he could be white and graceful. He wished he could be wonderful and not ugly. He said to himself, I will have a good swim. Maybe I will feel better in the water.
Maybe the water will wash away my ugliness. Maybe I will find some friends there. Maybe the ducks and swans will like me. Maybe they will play with me and be nice to me. Maybe they will accept me and not reject me. But all of the animals in the pond made fun of him. They saw him and laughed at him. They said he was the ugliest thing they had ever seen. They said he was a freak and not a duck. They said he was a monster and not a swan. They said he was a mistake and not a bird. They said he did not belong in the pond. They said he did not belong in the world. They teased him and taunted him. They splashed him and bit him. They chased him away from the pond. They said he was a nuisance and not a swan. They said he was a problem and not a friend. The ugly duckling was very unhappy. He had no friends and no home. He had no one to love him and no one to love. He had no place to stay and no place to go. He walked around, looking for a place where he could be happy. But everywhere he went, he was rejected and bullied. The other animals did not like him. They did not want him. They were mean and cruel to him. They laughed at him and called him names. They hurt him and chased him away. He was so lonely and sad. He cried a lot and wished he had a family. The summer was over quickly. The sun was warm and the flowers were bright. But the ugly duckling did not enjoy them. He felt like he did not belong in this beautiful world. He felt like he was a mistake and a problem. He felt like he was ugly and not beautiful. He felt like he was different and not the same. He felt like he was bad and not good. Then the autumn came. The leaves turned yellow and red and fell from the trees. The wind blew cold and the rain poured down. The ugly duckling had no shelter. He had nowhere to hide and nowhere to rest. He shivered and trembled. He was cold and wet. He was hungry and thirsty. He had nothing to eat and nothing to drink. He wished he had a mother to take care of him. He wished he had a mother to feed him and warm him. He wished he had a mother to hug him and kiss him. He wished he had a mother to love him and not hate him. But the winter was even worse. The snow covered the ground and the ice covered the water. The ugly duckling had nowhere to go. He had no place to swim and no place to play. He was freezing and starving. He was in pain and danger. He had to hide from the dogs and the hunters. They wanted to catch and kill ducks they wanted to hurt eat ducks. The duckling had to fight for every scrap of food. He had to compete with the other animals. He had to struggle for every bite and every sip. He had to survive every day. He had to live and not die. The duckling had a very hard life. He had no friends and no home. He had no one to love him and no one to love. He had no place to stay and no place to go. He walked around, looking for a place where he could be happy. The winter was very long and cold. The snow covered the ground and the ice covered the water. The wind blew hard 
and the frost bit his skin. The ugly duckling had nowhere to go. He had no shelter and no warmth. He had no food and no water. He had nothing to live for and nothing to hope for. He suffered so much. He almost died many times. He wished he could die and end his misery. He wished he could stop being ugly and start being beautiful. He wished he could stop being different and start being the same. He wished he could stop being bad and start being good. But he did not die. He was strong and brave. He did not give up and he did not give in. He kept on living, hoping for a better day. He hoped that one day he would find a place where he could be happy. He hoped that one day he would find someone who would love him. He hoped that one day he would find a way to be beautiful and not ugly. At last, the spring came. The snow melted and the water flowed. The grass grew and the flowers bloomed. The birds sang and the sun shone. The world was alive and happy again. The world was beautiful and wonderful again. The world was good and kind again. The duckling was still alive too. He was big now. He had grown up during the winter. He had learned a lot from his troubles. He had become wiser and kinder. He had learned to be patient and hopeful. He had learned to be humble and grateful. He had learned to be strong and brave. One day, he felt a strange urge. He wanted to fly. He wanted to see new places and new things. He wanted to explore the world. He wanted to have some fun and adventure. He wanted to have some freedom and joy. He spread his wings and flew into the sky. He felt free and happy. He felt like he could do anything and be anything. He felt like he was a bird and not a duck. Soon, he saw a beautiful lake. It was clear and blue. It sparkled in the sun. It looked like a big mirror. He saw some beautiful birds on the lake. They were white and graceful. They had long necks and curved beaks. They had soft feathers and elegant wings. They were the most beautiful birds he had ever seen. They were swans. He had heard stories about them. He had dreamed about them. He had admired them and envied them. He wished he could be like them. He wished he could be white and graceful. He wished he could be beautiful and not ugly. They were swans. He wanted to be near them. He wanted to be like them. But he was afraid they would kill him, for he was so ugly. He thought it was better to die by the swans than to live alone. But the little duckling could not resist. He felt a strong pull towards the lake. He felt a strange hope in his heart. He felt a curious wonder in his mind. He flew down to the lake. He landed on the water. He thought it was better to end his pain and sorrow. He thought it was better to say goodbye to the world and himself. He swam towards the swans. He was ready to die. He was ready to face his fate. He was ready to meet his end. He said to himself, I am going to see those birds. 
I want to be near them. I want to be like them. But I am afraid they will kill me, for I am so ugly. They will hate me like everyone else. They will not let me join them. They will chase me away or hurt me. They will make fun of me and call me names. They will make me sad and miserable. They will make me wish I was dead. What did he see? He saw a reflection in the water. But it was not his own. It was not an ugly duck. It was a white swan. He was shocked and confused. He could not believe his eyes. He could not believe his luck. He could not believe his change. He looked at himself again. He saw his white feathers, his long neck, his curved beak, his elegant wings. He realized that he was not an ugly duck. He realized that he was a white swan. He realized that he was beautiful and not ugly. He did not understand. He did not know how it happened. He did not know why it happened. He did not know when it happened. He only knew that it happened. He was a swan. He had changed. He had transformed. He had become what he always wanted to be. He had become what he always dreamed of being. He had become what he always deserved to be. He was a swan. The other swans saw him too. They recognized him as one of their own. They welcomed him with joy. They swam around him and touched him gently. They said, You are one of us. You are a swan. You are beautiful and noble. You belong here. You are our friend. He could not believe it. He was so happy and grateful. He cried tears of joy. He said, Thank you. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for making me happy. Thank you for being my friends. Thank you for being my family. Thank you for being my home. Thank you for being my life. Thank you for being my happiness. He saw some children on the shore. They were watching the swans. They were smiling and clapping. They said, Oh, see the lovely swans. They are so white and graceful. They are so beautiful and majestic. They are the best birds in the world. And the one that came last is the best of all. He is the most beautiful swan we have ever seen. He is more beautiful than the sun and the moon. He is more beautiful than the stars and the flowers. He is more beautiful than anything and everything. He is the most beautiful swan in the world. And they threw him bread and cake. They wanted to feed him and please him. They wanted to show him their admiration and affection. They wanted to make him happy and not sad. They wanted to make him feel loved and not hated. They wanted to make him feel proud and not ashamed. They wanted to make him feel special and not ordinary. They wanted to make him feel wonderful and not ugly. He ate the bread and cake. He felt full and satisfied. He felt loved and appreciated. He felt proud and happy. 
He felt like he had everything he ever wanted and needed. He felt like he had nothing to worry about and nothing to fear. He felt like he had a place and a purpose. He felt like he had a life and a future. He felt like he had a dream and a reality. He felt like he was happy and not sad. It was a happy time for the ugly duckling. He was no longer ugly. He was no longer a duckling. He was a beautiful swan. He had friends and a place. He had a life and a future. He had a dream and a reality. He had happiness and not sadness. He was happy.